and welcome to this GCSE computer science video with me, Mr. Goff from mrgoff.com. Today's video will be focused on translators. Translators convert assembly and high level languages into machine code so that it can be executed. There are three types of translators you need to be aware of assemblers, interpreters, and compilers. Assemblers convert assembly code to machine code. This process is fairly simple because there's a one-to-one -one relationship between assembly instructions and machine code instructions. An interpreter is one of two choices to translate high-level code into machine code. It translates programs one line at a time and it stops if it encounters an error. To run interpreted code, you must have the interpreter installed on your machine. Interpreters take longer to execute because each line must be translated before it can be executed. Compilers translate an entire program at once. They take the source code written in a high level language and convert it into object code, which is machine code or binary, so that it can be executed. Compiling is more complex than assembling because one high level statement might translate to several machine code instructions. A complex mathematical equation, for instance, could be written on one line in a high level language, but when translated, would refer to several machine code instructions to perform all of the steps in the equation. Once compiled into object code, the code can be executed as needed and will run quickly because it doesn't need to be translated. You also don't need to have the compiler on your computer to run the object code because it doesn't need translating. Because different processes have different instruction sets, a program compiled for one type of computer would have to be recompiled for a different processor. Some languages, like Java, use bytecode. This is where your code is translated into a partially translated state and then interpreted with a virtual machine on any device. This lets people write apps for any phone without having to consider the differences between the different types of hardware. An interpreter is generally used in production. The fact that it stops when it encounters an error makes it very useful in debugging. It's also very useful if you have to run your code on a lot of different hardware. Most commercial programs have been compiled. This is because it allows you to conceal your source code so that other people can't copy it and sell another product that's very similar. Once compiled, object code will run much faster than assembly code because the assembly code still needs to be translated line by line. That brings us to the end of this video on translators. Join me again for the next video when we'll be looking at parts of the CPU. If you haven't already done so, try mrgoff.com for free revision resources to help you study computer science. Until next time, it's bye for now.